Hi everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. So in today's video we are going to see a very interesting topic and it will be a very easiest way to clean your track markers which we use to do our camera tracking. So without wasting any time let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have my footage and if I can show it to you, I am having pretty good cleanup. So let's start how we can do that. So I'm going over here, control C and control V. And over here, first thing first, I will check my grain by hitting blue channel. And if I'm going to play it, you can easily see we have decent amount of grain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a neat video plugin called Reduce Noise or you can use Denoise as well. So here I'm going to prepare noise. It will take some time and I'm going to pick one flat surface like this and I'm going to click on Auto Profile. Let's apply it. So automatically you can see I am having pretty neat and clean video, noise free. And after that, I can render it out. So first thing first, I'm observing that I am having a camera movement, little camera movement, not much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a note called uh, tracker because I'll be needing information of motion. And on first frame, I'm going over here and by holding Alt and Control, I can take a new tracker like this. And once this is done, I'm going to track it forward. Okay. so. What I have done, uh, like I was facing some some problem like uh, my comp was getting slower and slower due to reduce noise. So what I did, I rendered it out denoise version of it. So it will help me to do my work faster. So I'm going to take a again node called tracker. So you need to do that these kind of things to fasten your work. So I'm going over here and alt control and I'm going to take a track over here and I'm going to track it forward. So now you can see easily it's, it's way too faster than earlier. Yeah, my tracking has been done. And now what I have to do, I have to take a very, very, very interesting node, which we call a PXF filler, right? So this node, it comes under pixel fuzzer plugin. So you have to install this pixel fuzzer. If you remember, I think I made a video on how to install pixel fuzzer. If not, then if you'll comment down, I'll definitely make a video how to do that. But in pixel PXF filler, we have three inputs. One is called image, one is called whole mask, and one is called mask. So image will go over here. And for image mask input, I'll be needing a roto shape. Like I'm going to hit O on keyboard and I'm going to disconnected and over here I'm going to take a ellipse node like this and if needed I can hit E just to soften it a little bit and if I'm going to see of course my mask has been created but I can easily see I'm not having movement yes so by somehow I need to connect my tracking information over my roto shape so how to do that? It's pretty simple. Just select it. Remember, don't select like this. If we'll do like this and right click and go to link and tracker two, track one, what will happen? This will happen. So you don't want to do that. Just select by spline, right click, link to, this is my tracker two and track one. Suddenly it will disappear. So you need not to worry. Your mask will be here. So one more time you have to reposition it. And once I'm going to connect my roto shape input to mask and let me arrange it. And if I'm going to see, suddenly you can see my track point has been removed completely. And if needed, I can go to check my blue channel. It's looking pretty nice. Also, I can check red and green all three channels are looking pretty nice, right? So same way, if I want to remove this tracking point, so I'll go over here and again, I can take another track point like this. If needed, you can switch off first for a safer side and I'm going to track it forward. So it will track and once this is done, either if you want, you can add your points in this particular node, if not, you want to do it separately, you can take another PXF filler and you can use it. So I'll show you both the ways. So I'm going over here and again, same way I'm going to create a spline and suddenly you can see it's gone, right? So what I need to do again, right click, 
link to tracker to track to same way this will disappear like this so you need to do this simple so yeah it's pretty interesting to see how these points are going to disappear or how these points are getting clean right so again same way you can use these points to clean it up so let me show you one more problem or one more thing which you might face so let me show it to you again i'm going to take this tracker and again i'm going to alt control click and i'm going to track it forward same way like this and this time I'm going to use another roto shape like this. And again, I'm going to right click and link to tracker two, tracker three. Same way I can go over here and I can connect this. And this time again, I'm going to use PXF filler. And this will be my image. And this will be my mask. And if I I'm going to see through this. So suddenly you can see it's, it's pretty done. But can you see that something I'm getting here? Can you see that? So little bit of stretching and things coming. Can you see that? So if you want to fix that, so you have to go to that particular pixel fuzzer and I'm having size, width and height. So probably I can increase it and it's getting clean, but it's little blurred. I can lower down my height value so can you see that so i don't need to go in minus but suddenly you can see it's disappeared right so by changing these options again like like size iterations soft edges angle multiple things you can do if some problem are coming probably you can try it out like three or four might be like like this it might possible i can increase little bit more like five or six and now it's gone right so yeah this is the way how you can think of again another problem might come like uh, where your track points or track markers are overlapping right so what is the solution again i'm going to track this point right alt control click right and track forward it's not mandatory that you you have to do a perfect tracking it will work for me and again, I'm going to take a, another auto shape, but this time I will draw a shape around it like this. Again, I'm going to take Pixel Fudges plugin called Pixel Filler. And again, this time I'm going to do this, right? And also I have to link it to Tracker 2, Track 4. And I have to reposition it. And as I'm going to reposition it, you can easily see it's gone, but something you have to manage like this and you have to check till what point you are getting good results, right? So you have to man manipulate or you have to animate your this thing. Just suppose that you can see over here, I'm getting a darker edges over here. So we don't need that so probably I can do this so what i have to do i have to do manually till that particular point where i am getting good results like i am not getting good results over here and if i'm going to do this again you can see this thing is pretty bad so what i can do i can go to roto opacity and set key i'll go one frame back and here again i'll do a set key and in next frame I can do zero. So what will happen? My pixel filler value will work till here. So I again, I need to manipulate it a little bit more. And after this point, after this point, what I have to do, I can take a roto paint node and in roto paint node, I can go for clone and probably I can put value hardness to zero and I'll start painting it. So you can mix and match both of the techniques and you can do these kind of work pretty nicely like this. So by using these techniques, what I have did earlier, I have created this thing and you can easily see 
I'm having all my tracking markers gone, right? So I hope this video will help you to understand a very effective way of doing track markers cleanup. And by using this technique, you can speed up your work. So if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.